everyone, I'm Nancy. Today we are going to discuss a common use case scenario where developers at an organization when using Gitpod ephemeral environment, they need to either pull images from AWS ECR or they need to push images to AWS ECR. Now in this case, uh, all the images are mostly private and hence you need some kind of authentication, usually uh, AWS SSO. So in this video, we are going to discuss three steps. We are going to install AWS CLI, we are going to set up AWS SSO and we are going to access AWS ECR. All the steps would be automated, hence no manual steps are required. So you will always get ready to use workspace with AWS CLI configured with your secrets. Now let's get started. So here we have template on GitHub that contains an example of how to integrate AWS SSO and AWS ECR with Gitpod. This repo contains gitpod.yml and configuration script. So gitpod.yml is a file which is located at the root of your repository and your workspace gets configured through it. Now this file initiates the config script which automates the whole process of installing CLI and ECR helper whenever you open a new gitpod workspace. Now before I get started using this template, I want to discuss about few prerequisites. We are already assuming that you have the AWS SSO for your organization set. Now we will also be using some public configuration options like AWS SSO URL, AWS SSO region and etc. And we need to add these environment variables at gitpod.io slash variables. So here is the place where you can configure the persistent environment variables into your workspace and you can use them in your code. So I've already set up my environment variables and you can also define the scope as you want. Now let's get back to it and start using this template. So here I'm going to give some name, let's say the demo AWS Kitpod, and this will create a fork. So now I'm going to open a new Gitpod workspace. So I'm going to add this prefix, which is gitpod.io slash hash followed by the project URL. This will automatically open my project into a new Gitpod workspace. Okay, so this shows a prompt to open JetBrains Gateway because this is my default editor of choice, which is set in Gitpod preferences as I mostly work with it and I like it. So you can also use your favorite uh, editor from here. You can set it as default. And if you want to read more about it, you can refer to our docs. Now I'm going to quickly click on this. This will open my project in a Gitpod workspace in JetBrains client. So now JetBrains client is getting connected to Gitpod workspace. Cool, so now I can see that AWS has been set up. Uh, let's quickly check this and verify this. If I click, if I type AWS, I can see that yes, it's it, it got installed. Now let's try to log in SSO. I am going to type this command. So this prompts me to open the link in browser to authenticate my AWS CLI with AWS SSO. So I'm going to quickly authorize this request. I'm going to approve it. And now when I go back to my IDE, I see that I got successfully logged in. Yay, congratulations. Now you are ready to get started with any of the AWS services like S3, EC2, ECR, etc. in a Gitpod ephemeral environment. Hope you enjoyed this screencast and you found it helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can reach out to us over our community Discord server.